Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run we're doing another unboxing video and this time we're looking at the new PlayStation camera. Now there's been a PlayStation camera since the launch but they've recently refreshed the PlayStation units, basically the Slim and also a Pro coming out soon and they've also decided to um, refresh a lot of the accessories for them and this is a refresh of the original camera. Now the internal specs are the same as the original camera but the design and the outlook of it, basically the cosmetic look of it, is different from what it was before. So I want to basically do an unboxing, show you what you get in this box, and then I'll bring in the original PlayStation camera just to show you the size difference. Anyway, let's get in the box and go from there. So the first thing is of course the manual, and basically that's just going to show you how to set this uh, unit up, and also how to uh, set up the uh, stand on your monitor. Next, we've got the actual stand. Now, this is a bendy stand, and this is basically going to go behind the uh, back of your monitor or TV and just hold the unit so you can position it in different positions. Um, it's quite flexible, and it seems quite a well-built uh, piece of uh, kit. And finally, we've got the camera itself, and as you can see, it's quite a lot different from the previous model, and I'll bring the previous model in in a little bit, but um, you can see it's got a good size length cable, which is good. I think it's about two meters, and the cylindrical design is quite nice. It certainly looks nicer than the more squarish design. Anyway, I'll put the um, stand on next. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get this camera into the stand. So basically, you've got a little uh, arrow marker point there and what you want to do is just get that to line up with the two uh, clips either side so you sort of fit it in and then as you turn it it will clip into place like so so now it's clipped on and as you can see that's the actual camera on the mount and then you can adjust the camera with the um, the plate so this is the original PlayStation camera stand, and as you can see, it's kind of similar to the new one. It's got the same sort of folding mechanism, but the difference is it only had the anchor point at one end. So if you get the camera like so, and you can see here the camera's got the anchor point there, you basically had to um, clip it in like that, and that would hold the uh, camera on the stand. But it only had it on one anchor point, and I always thought that was kind of a weak point because, as you can see, it's got a bit of movement there where it's only held by the one end. So next, what I want to do is to bring the um, old camera in. So this is the old uh, PlayStation camera, as you can see, and there's definitely a quite a bit of a difference in length. You can see that there's this is quite a bit smaller now. Now I don't think the cameras are in a different placing, they've basically got rid of this end bit here which has really made it shorter. So if you see this bit here, this is gone now and so the camera is itself just that long. So that's pretty much all they've done. Well there you go, there's my look at the new PlayStation camera and as you can see there's definitely been a progression in the design. Um, I think the new design is definitely nicer so if you didn't own a PlayStation camera and were on the fence about getting one, and wanted one, definitely go for the newer design, it's nicer. If you own the existing one, you're not going to necessarily benefit from any change in the specs. It's mainly the design thing where the uh, new one looks better. Anyway, I'm Justin, and as always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.